Mr. Monk. This is the captain. Hello. You were right about the pigeon. The bird was poisoned. I had them go back and do a tox scan on the armored car driver. Turns out he had been poisoned too before he was shot. The poison is called tetra a tetrachloridrine. Tetrachloridrine, very deadly. Stronger than arsenic. It's stronger than arsenic. Uh, it came straight from the lab. It hadn't even been diluted yet. And get this, we just talked to the plant manager here. Turns out some of this stuff had been stolen. They didn't realize it until today because they caught the guy trying to put it back. Wait, wait, he was putting it back? Yep, they had to let him go. He denied everything and they didn't have any evidence. Uh, guy's name is... Gil Strap. Gil Strap. He worked here part-time fixing computers. Gil Strap? Paul Gil Strap? Ambrose! Ambrose! Don't eat the candy! I paid for it! No, spit it out! Spit it out! It could be poison. What? That's what this whole thing has been about. It's been spiked with tetrachloridrine. Is there a Neptune bar in here? Not anymore, there isn't. Oh my God, Nelly, call 911. Oh my God. I thought it'd be funny. Tetrachloridrine? The guy down the street was trying to kill his wife. It's too late. Don't, don't say that. Don't say that. Just get up. Get Adrian. up now. Natalie, Adrian. help me. Adrian, tetrachloridrine is a synthetic insecticide. Natalie, help me. There is no antidote. I'll be dead in five minutes. Tell me who did this. Oh, it doesn't matter. It matters to me. I don't want to die without knowing. Shh. Tell me, Adrian. OK. Here's what happened. His name was Paul Gilstrap. He wanted to kill his wife. He worked at a laboratory where they made tetrachloridrine. Oh. And a few days ago, he stuck in there and he stole some of it. Ambrose, I met his wife when I went trick-or-treating with Julie, and she said that she ate the Neptune bar every night before bed. Oh. Gilstrap poisoned her candy, but he couldn't poison just one. He wanted to make it look like there was a serial killer on the loose, so he had to poison a lot of other candy bars put them back into circulation. So his wife would just be another victim. That's right. It's a good plan. But he made a mistake. He got caught trying to put the poison back. Ruined everything. That's right. It ruined everything. Because now, if his wife or anyone else died from tetrachloridrine, they'd know it was him. So he was desperate. He had to get all of the poison candy bars out of circulation. He found them all, except for two. Right. The armored car driver had one. He had already taken a bite. If the driver had just dropped dead, Gilstrap knew there'd be an autopsy. So he had to think fast. He grabbed the driver's gun and shot him repeatedly. Who would bother looking for poison? in a guy who'd been shot five times. But you left just one candy bar. The one I ate. That's right. He's been trying to get it back all night. Uh, uh... How much further? 20 blocks. Adrian, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. What are you talking about? Dad. Oh, no. I drove him away. No. He couldn't stand me. No. He couldn't stand me, Adrian. It was my fault. No, I'm sorry. It was me. You're a good brother, Adrian. I love you. I love you. Don't cry, Adrian. Be strong now. Uh, uh, uh. That another. 
Neptune bar. Where's the wrapper from the Moody Eight? It's right here. Oh. Oh. This one expired eleven months ago. That must be the candy bar left over from last year. From last Halloween. That's why it tasted funny. That's why <laughs> it tasted funny. So this, this is the, this is the poison. That's why it tasted funny. <laughs> That's why it tasted funny. <laughs>